awesome. You've had some time to reflect now. Now, what do you look back on game four? What are your thoughts? Um, you know, I just thought they, they obviously came out really, uh, really hard to start. Um, you know, I think the team that's honestly had the best start and gotten off, um, scored first is obviously ended up winning the game. So um, I think the start was just really important. And obviously we knew that they were going to come back with a push. And I just think we got caught in our heels a little bit, um, dug ourselves in a bit of a hole that was, you know, a little bit hard to get out of. What does it say about how difficult this series has been that no team's been able to make a comeback? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's two really good teams, and you know, we're playing a very experienced team with, um, you know, a team that's won, um, knows how to win. So, obviously, it's uh, the difficulty of uh, just, you know, playing through that. Um, you know, you, you know, it's going to be tight. It's not, uh, I don't think anybody really saw, um, you know, one team or another running away with it. It's kind of just been uh, punch for punch so far. So, um, obviously, uh, splitting both uh, both home ices, and now we're coming back into our, our ring. So, um, you know, I think we should be, you know, feeling confident, feeling good, uh, coming back at home here and with a really great opportunity uh, tomorrow. In the aftermath of the game, did it feel like an opportunity missed just to have a chance to go up to in that series and um, I mean, I think you could kind of say that about any loss would be an opportunity missed, but um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was a great opportunity. We obviously, uh, you know, let that one slip, but um, at the same time, it's uh, it's not going to be easy. They're you know that they're going to answer back, and uh, now it's our turn to, to have our answer here. So, what have you made of uh, Michael Bunting uh, for Toronto since Game One and kind of bouncing up and down as he kind of gets his legs going back in this series? Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, he's just easy um, to to play with. Whatever role he's in, he, you know, he's going to compete and he's going to battle. Uh, he's going to play with edge, uh, no matter where he is in the lineup. So, um, you know, it's obviously a guy that uh, you love to have on your team, and um, you know, is a bit of a pest to play against. But uh, he does a really good job for us. But uh, I don't think it it really matters to him where he's playing in the lineup. I think he just tries to play the same way and and do his role. What has to happen differently tomorrow? Just hockey wise, awesome. Um, I think just breaking breaking the puck out is probably a, a key focal point for us. Uh, just playing through the the pressure on their on their forecheck and um, you know breaking out a little bit cleaner so we can kind of have some more controlled entries and uh, sustain a little bit more pressure on their end of the ice. Awesome. Given the way the, the series has been called so far, obviously you don't kill penalties. So have you found it trouble getting into the flow during some games when you guys have been killing a lot? Yeah, it can be tough. Um, I mean, I think it just kind of goes without saying. It's it's hard to get in a rhythm, and you know, it's hard to win games, especially when you're spending almost a period and uh, a period of the game shorthanded. So that's obviously uh, been a vocal point for us, and something that we'd like to clean up because um, you know it does disrupt the rhythm uh, of the game and the flow. And like you said, just not uh, you know guys that don't PK that you know have to kind of sit there for a little bit. Um, but I mean, I think the PK is an early good job in, in a lot of instances. In some of these games, have kind of gained the momentum back for us, like in Game One when we had to kill off that five-minute penalty. But um, you know, it's a really good team over there too. They got a really good power play, so um, you know, I think we just like to stay out of the box a lot more. Austin, how do you push through everything that's happened in the past this series in particular? Prove you guys can win a really big game. I mean, what's in the past is the past. I mean, that's really nothing that we can change or what we can control. I think the only thing that we can really focus on and um, and control is, is what we have here, what we have now, the, the task that we have in front of us and uh, in game five tomorrow. So that's really the main focus, I think, from everybody in our locker room.